Let's do 20 jummy jacks. What are you doing with that? 20 <laughs> events. Go ahead. 20 jummy jacks, 20 events. What are you doing with that? Hold the pushing position. Make sure when you're done, you hold the pushing position. And just don't stand around. Don't stand around. So you guys did 20 jumping jacks, 20 knee bends, and then you're holding a pushing position when you're done, right? Making sure. So this looked like we're just standing there. Didn't know what was going on. Hold the push up position. Hold the push up. If you're in the push-up position, I want you to take one hand up, you can reach across and touch your shoulder. From here, reach across and touch your shoulder. Just keep on doing that. Reaching across, touching your own shoulder. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. And stop. Everyone stand up, feet apart. Go ahead, reach and touch the ground. Reach and touch the ground. Oh, yeah. Go down to your right leg. And to the other side. And to the other side. And the other side. And down to the middle. And up, put your feet together. Go ahead, reach and touch the toes. Go ahead, reach and go. Touch jelly roll. Try to get your hands on the ground. If you're touching your toes, it's too easy. Try to put your knuckles on the ground. If knuckles on the ground, it's too easy. Try to put your hands flat all, all the way down on the ground. And up, shake it off a little bit. Go ahead, stand up, shake it off, shake it, shake it off, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Sweet, everyone go ahead and sit down. Ah, one leg out, one leg in. Go ahead, reach and grab. Reach and grab. Reach and grab. And switch feet, other side, going the other way. And switch, going the other way. And the other side. And the other side. And stay here. And the other side. And the other side. And and switch, switch, both feet out. From here, try to put your head down. Head on the ground. Reach over to your right leg. And switch feet to the other side. And back down to the middle. And up. Shake your feet in. Wave your feet. Shake your legs. Wave your feet. Shake your legs. And stand up. Whew. Shake your legs one more time. All right. Hey, let's go over some of these kicks. Let's go over. Um, Let's go over the forward facing kicks and the sideways facing kicks. You guys ready? We're going to scoot back. We're going to go over the forward facing kicks first. Be right back, your hands up. We're going to run through it uh, relatively quickly. So, number one, front leg, front kick. So, kick okay, one, bam. You guys don't have to jump. Show me two, bam. Number three, you're going to slide and kick the front leg. Go. Number four, small step, kick back leg. Go. Let's get back a little bit. Number five, go ahead and take a big step and kick. Go. Yeah, let's go back. Let's do crossing kick. Here, foot back. Number one, you're gonna kick that front foot. Ready to go? One. Ready? And two. And three. Slide and kick. Number four, small step and kick. Number five, let's go and take a big step. 
Go ahead, step. And then kick. Piece kick. And then scoot back. Let's do our axe kicks now. We have a wrap it back. We have our hands up. And number one, we're going to swing your leg up nice and high. Go one. Number two, kick it back. Go. Number three, slide and kick. Go. Number four, small step. Kick. Go. And number five, go ahead and take a big step. And kick. Go. All right. Go ahead and scoot back. Shake it off a little bit. All right, let's move on to the sideways facing kicks. We're going to do our round kicks first. We're going to do side kicks second, and then foot kicks last. So, round kicks. We have our hands up. Show me a number one. Go. Why? Yeah. Number two. Ready? And go. Why? Yeah. Number three. Sliding kick. Go. Bam. Number four. Small step. And kick. Go. Bow. And number five. This is going to take a big step. Go like cross. And kick, go. Peace kick, go ahead, scoot back. You know, to me, it just looked a little too easy. Raise your hand to think that was a little too easy. A little too easy. All right, good. We're gonna make it a little more challenging. We're gonna do not one, not two, but three repeat kicks while we do each and every single kick. So when I say number one, you're gonna do that kick three times. One, two, three, you're putting your foot down. Number two, same thing. All the way up to five. So let's do round kicks again, ready? How many kicks? Three, right? Just make sure. Ready? And go. One, two, three. That's number one. Number two, kick it back. Let go. One, two, three. Number three, go ahead, slide and kick. Go. One, two, three. Number four, small step. And kick. Boom, boom, boom. Number five, go ahead, step and kick. One, two, three. All right. Well, guess what? Side kicks. We're going to do the same exact thing. Three kicks, one, two, three. No putting your foot down. You know what? I think we can handle the challenge. Let's do five. Let's do five instead of three. Are you ready? Hands up. And go ahead, number one, kick. One, two, three, four, five. Number one. And number two. Go ahead, kick back. Like, what? One, two, three, four, five. That's it, number two. Number three, go ahead, slide and kick. Go. One, two, three. Four, five. Number four, go ahead, small step. Whoop. And kick. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. Number five, go ahead, step behind. And you get five. One, two, three, four, and five. Easy. Nah. Yeah. Foot kicks. Right back. Hands up. Five kicks. I thought it was easy. <laughs> okay, get ready. Five kicks now. Foot kicks. So you have to get your foot all the way around. One, two. This one will be a little more hard. Are you ready? Might take a little longer. And to number one, go. One, two, three, four, five. That's number one. Two, kick your back. Let go. One, two, three, four, five. Phew. Number three, go ahead. One, whoop, whoop, whoop. two, three, four, and five. Number four, small step. And kick. One, two, three, four, five. Number five, we'll do a big step. Go ahead, go. Step. And one, two, three, four, and five. Phew. That was a more challenging, huh? Who did it without putting their foot down? All right, sweet. For the people that didn't put their foot down, I think we should all celebrate for them. Let's do five push-ups, go. Five. Five push-ups. Five push-ups. Five push-ups. Everyone did the five push-ups? Only did five, right? Not six, not seven. Okay, good. Just make sure. All righty. Go ahead. Stay tall. We're going to run through our sparring combinations. We're going to run through our sparring combinations. We're going to do all six for right now, just the six of them. So from here, of course, scoot them back. We're going to do raise hand. We're going to do number ones. We have our hands up on the side. Left foot steps. We got a block. 
and then we got a kick, punch, step, slide kick, step back and block. Easy peasy, right? Easy peasy. Put your hands up, I think it's easy peasy. Oh, good. We're going to make it a little more challenging. You have to move just as fast as I do. So if I move slow, that means you move slow. If I move fast, that means you move fast. Does it make sense? But well, you're now allowed to go faster than me or slower. Hands up. Ready? And one. And ah, not kidding yet. Don't move faster. No faster. And don't fall over. And two, three, four. And Yeah. Don't put that foot down. Pull it out. Whoop. Whoop. Pow. All right. Who's stuck with me? Is it with me? Oh, good. Let's try one more time. Ready? Remember, don't go faster or slower than me. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. You stay with me? <laughs> All right. Let's do number two. Get your hands ready. Go ahead, step back and block one. You got your, I'm not sliding into the thing, so back is two. You got your punch three, and four, five, and six. Good, I'm just gonna get this kind of a punch. Let's do it one more time, ready? Go ahead, step back and block one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, we're in the same game. Don't move faster, don't move slower. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, all right, let's try it again. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Sweet. Shake it up a little bit. We got number three. We're gonna do our lunge off to the side, right? Go ahead, show me go one. And we got our jump. Two, three, four, five, and six. Try again. Ready? On your mark. Get set and go. One, two, three, four, five, six. You guys know the drill, right? We're gonna do the same game. No faster, no slower. Ready? And one. Hey, you got me here. One, two, three. Four. All right, let's try one more time. Ready? We're going to see who has fast hands now. Ready? One, two, and two, three, four, five, six. Ah! Who's got fast hands? Are those fast hands? All right, we got number four now. Ready? And we got one, two, chop, punch, and then. We got it again. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Ready? My speed. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, right. keep up. Did you keep up? Try again. Get ready. Go! One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> well, how many you gotta keep up? Last try, last try, ready? And go! One, two, three, four, five. Did you keep up? 
I hope so. We got two left. We got five and six. Get your hands ready. You're going to step the air block. One. Get two. Bam. Three. Bam. Four. Bam. Punch five. Six together. Seven kick. Back eight. All right. Try that again. One more. Then we'll try to do match my speed. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Ready? You're not tired, right? Oh, good. All right. And if you're not tired, join 10 push ups. Go. 10 push ups. Hurry. Even if you are tired, do 10 push ups. All right. When you're done, go ahead and stand up here and the ready position this way. Make sure you stay with my speed. No faster, no slower. Bam, bam, bam. All right. New round. Last one. Ready? Okay. Bam, 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 That was a quick one, right? All right. Last one, number six. From here, we step back. We got a block, right? One. Turn around and back. It's only two, three. Four, five. five. I miscounted. Ready? <laughs> Get your hands ready. So we step back. We got one. Feet together. Count two. Stepping back is three, four, five. When you do the spin, just a little tip. I kind of like to think that there's a wall, a little bit of a wall here. This is a big one, but from here, like when I'm getting ready to step, I step back from here, then I go around the wall. Almost. So from here, I'm only pivoting around the back. So if I did it from the side, I would step back. I got my one. From here, I come around. Two, three. So I'm switching from like back here. Anyways, let's play that last one. This is our last game. Our last one with this game. Ready? Match my speed. No faster, no slower. Go ahead. One. Yeah. And two. Let's see. One, two. Three, four, and five. All right, sweet. Shake it off a little bit. Awesome work. So talking about. Hey, everyone, show me ten pushups. Go. Back. Go. Hey, when this guy come in here? You guys must be working hard today. I can see it. I can see it. I can feel it. I love it. Now, listen, you guys just ran through all your sparring combinations. Listen, we want to touch on the self-defense. Now, it's been a little while since we've kind of gone over the self-defense, especially with the partner here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go through one through six of the self-defense. We're going to go through pretty quick. Make sure if you have any questions or you want to go back and watch the video, make sure you go to our YouTube channel so that way you can kind of rewind it, play it, rewind it, play it, rewind it, play it as many times as you want. All right? So here are the six self-defense techniques. The first self-defense technique we have is the cross-arm wrist grab. I'm going to go on this side just so you can see. Now from here again, he's reaching across his arm. Now we're going to kind of break this down just a little bit just so you can see. What most people do is they try to bring their arm all the way up and around and they grab 
We don't want to do that because what if the guy is a little bit bigger and stronger than you? You will have a really difficult time bringing your arm up and around. So what you want to do is you want to do something so easy, so simple. You just simply bend your elbow. Now, once I bend my elbow, my palm's going to be facing up. At the same time, everything is about timing. You want to make sure you step and grab at the same time. Now, the second tip, when you do this self this is back in here because we make it see it's all bad. The second tip is you don't want to use your arms to push down because, again, he kind of, he's probably pretty strong. So what I want to do is I want to use my entire body and drop my entire body down. So your whole body is going to come down on the back of his elbow, right, right here on the back of his arm. Now, as I drop down, he won't be able to stand back up because all of my body weight is right over top of his arm. All right? So that's the first thing you got to remember. you got to make sure when you do this, you bend the elbow. Just bend the elbow and then step as you put the arm across. Make sure you grab the wrist and then just drop your body. All right? Sparring, I'm sorry. Self-defense number two is the lapel grab. Now, when he does the lapel grab, whatever arm he's using, I want to use the other arm to reach across. This is very important. You want to make sure your thumb and your fingers work together. So it's going to be like a, like, a, like a pincher. You want to make sure your fingers and thumb work together. So if he were to grab, you want to make sure you reach across. My thumb is going to go right here in the gap of his thumb. And my fingers are going to wrap around his hand. Now, once I do that, I'm going to make sure I twist my hand up. Now, I don't want to continue to twist to where his palm is up. That's too far. You want to make sure your hand is palm up just like this. So now I've got his hand like this. Now I'm going to take his fingers and I'm going to rotate his fingers to his nose. Now watch when I do this. I don't want to push away because I'll get weaker the further away from my body. So I want to, again, keep it close to my body. And again, I'm going to rotate my fingers. And again, it doesn't take very much for him to feel a lot of pain in his arm. So again, all you're doing is from this position, you're just simply rotating his hand. Now, let's say, again, the person's a little bit bigger and stronger. So when you bring it across, I might need to use my other hand. Now, again, my hands are like this. I'm, I'm sandwiching his hand in between my hand as it comes up. And then, again, I can use my body. And, again, that's where it's going to really be painful. So, again, you reach across, use your other hand. Again, keep it close to your body and then rotate it down. All right, so that's the second self-defense. The third self-defense is a same side wrist grab. Same side wrist grab. Now, again, when you do the same side wrist grab, just like the first one, we're not going to try to bring his arm up and around. I'm going to simply bend my elbow. When I bend my elbow, his hand's going to turn palm up. I'm using the other hand, a little bit closer so you can see. When I bring it up, the back of his hand is going to be in my palm. So I'm going to use my fingers. My fingers are going to wrap around. Notice it's wrapping around the meaty part of his thumb. And my other thumb is on the other side. You can see it right here. This is my other thumb. Now I'm going to grab onto his hand. And then from here, I'm simply going like this. I'm just going to take my hand and go and just twist it down. Now, again, when he does that, I grab. I'm going to simply twist down. Do you see what it does to his arm? Now, if you need to get a little extra power into your technique, again, the guy is pretty big, pretty strong. I'm going to use this arm to help push his arm down and help it rotate. Now, again, just to get a little bit extra, extra oomph behind the technique, when you do this, don't just stand there and twist. I'm going to go ahead and step back. Now, what that does is it helps straighten out his arm and makes it really weak. Now, I'm close. My arms are close to my body, so I am a lot stronger. So, again, if I were like this, this is going to be hard for me. Here, this is very easy because I'm in control. All right? So, again, if he grabs... I'm going to bring my palm up, grab the back of his hand, and then again, use my fingers, and I'm going to twist it down. And I'm going to twist it down. And again, if the person's really big and strong, you might need to use this other hand to help you twist his arm, making sure that you take a step back, again, to straighten out his arm. All right? So again, now that's the third one. The fourth self-defense is a shoulder push. Now, a shoulder push is just like that. It's somebody were to push your shoulder. No, it's not very nice. Now, what we're going to do in order to use the self-defense, we are going to let him push my shoulder, and I'm going to take a step back. Okay, so that's what my body's doing. So, again, he's going to push my shoulder. My whole body's going to step back. 
Now, at the same time, now this is very important. At the same time, as he pushes my shoulder, my other arm is going to come over top. Now, do you see how I'm, I'm sandwiching his arm in between my arm and my body? Now, you see his fingers? I'm going to use this hand as it comes around, and I'm going to simply grab his hand. Now, I don't have to have a perfect grip on his hand yet. I'm just pinning it so that way he can't go anywhere. Then this hand, this other hand, this has got to find the right spot. Boom. So my thumb is going to be on the back of his hand, and this other hand is here. So again, this arm's job, this arm's job is to simply pin it against my body so that way he can't get away. Now this other hand is what's going to initiate the grab. As I take a step back again, that's when I'm going to rotate it down. So again, now watch one more time. Again, we're going to move in slow motion. He's going to push. At the same time, my hand's coming up and over. Now again, this job, the job of this hand is to simply pin it against my body. And then the other hand is what's going to grab as I step back again, which is going to straighten out his arm. And again, do you see how close my arms are in relation to my body and his arm is straight? This is what's going to give me more power, more leverage. One more time. So again, he pushes. I'm going to let him push at the same time my arm is coming back. Then as I step, this hand's going to grab as I go back to push. Now, I know we're doing it really slow. That's not how it's going to happen in real life. It's not going to happen like that. It won't work if you do it that slow. So a little bit faster, if he pushes, it's here to here. Did you see what I did? Did you see kind of how as I pushed, my arm came around? And at the same time I'm going to step back, I want to make sure the other hand grabs. All right? So again, so that's the fourth self-defense. Now the fifth self-defense is going to be a headlock. Now, again, when somebody goes to get you in a headlock, their arm's going to come across. Their number one goal is to make sure you can't breathe. So what you have to do is you have to create just a little bit of space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my chin. I, do you think it's a good idea to turn it that way? Let's see. <clears throat> nope, not a good idea. So what about this way? Yeah, now, now I can still breathe even though he's still squeezing. Now I'm gonna have to have to react pretty quick because if he were to continue to squeeze, he's gonna, well, not yet. <laughs> he's gonna continue to cut off the blood supply to my head and I'm gonna go like this. <laughs> so I have to react pretty fast. So again, he's, he's squeezing, look at that. I love the dads, I like how they get in there. That's exactly what I was doing. <laughs> so again, you wanna make sure you turn your head so you can breathe. At the same time, I'm going to use my hand. I'm going to make it as strong a fist as I can. Now, there's a nerve right here on the side of the thigh. It feels so awesome, yeah, especially if you punch it. Yeah, so what you can do is you can do what's called a digit punch. That's where you use one knuckle. You squeeze your hand. And, again, you would punch with that digit punch, which, again, focuses all that energy in the one little spot. Oh, it feels so good. Yeah. Or you can use your two knuckles. Make a tight fist, and you can punch him as hard as you can right here in the side of the thigh. All right? What that's going to do, that's a distraction technique. That's going to take his focus off of trying to choke you. So, again, he's trying to choke me. Boom! I'm going to make sure I punch. Now, that's just enough. So that, <laughs> so that way my hand can come across. Now, do you see, where, do you see this hand right here? Notice I'm punching. This hand's coming across. Now, I'm going to use the blade of my hand, and I'm going to push right underneath the chin. There's a pressure point. There's a pressure point right underneath here. What you're doing is you're using the knife edge of your hand, and you're pushing underneath their jaw at the same time. Now, again, when I bring it around here, I'm going to push. I don't know if you notice this leg. I'm going to push and bring it over this leg. So watch one more time. So, again, he grabs in a headlock. Boom, boom, I'm going to punch. This hand's coming across. Now, again, you see this leg back here? This hand's under his chin. Now it's going to go right over top of my thigh, which, again, would take him down to the floor. I just don't want him to fall. All right? Now, again, you can either take him to the ground or you can take your hand and chop him in the throat, which, again, is going to get him off of you. All right? Now, again, this is, this is some serious self-defense techniques. You guys are black belts. That's why we go over this as a black belt. We don't do this as an early, early on rank. So one last time, 
Again, number five, the headlock. I punch, hand comes across, and again, I'm gonna push him up underneath the jaw, or I can just simply ah, hit him in the throat, or I can grab the throat, or I can do whatever. But the goal is to get the person off of you. Listen, if somebody has you in a headlock, that is a very, very, very serious situation. Your job is to get away, okay? So again, that's why it's, so it's such a kind of a, a gruesome self-defense technique. All right, so now we're moving on to number six. Number six, that's the double lapel grab. Now the double lapel grab works very similar to the shoulder push. I'm gonna make sure I pin his arms against my body. I'm gonna pin it here. Now the reason I'm pinning it here is because I'm gonna step back. When I step back, that brings his body forward. Now, depending on how far forward he moves, I'm either gonna do a knee strike or I would do a front kick. And my front kick is gonna go right between the legs. All right, now again, I'm gonna hold on to him because I don't want him to get away. I wanna stay in control. So again, if he grabs, I'm stepping back. I'm gonna, now he's pretty close, so boom, my knee strikes are gonna come right to the sternum. Then as I step back, I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna make sure that his fingers are palm up. Do you see my hands? He grabs, I did my knee strike, boom. I'm gonna make sure I rotate my hands, palms on the back of his hands. And again, I'm gonna simply rotate it forward. Now notice I'm still, I'm not gonna push forward because I don't want my arms to get away from my body. I'm gonna make sure that I stay in control so again, I'm gonna keep my arms close as I rotate them down, all right? Now again, you gotta make sure that you're using your body weight. That is super important. All of self-defense, especially these kind of joint locks are about leverage. So again, you wanna make sure that you stay close to your body so that way you have more leverage, all right? That is all six self-defense techniques. Like I said, I know I went through them pretty quick. You guys did a great job following along. Again, to go back and re revisit it, just go to the YouTube channel, click this class, and again, we'll be able to go through everything and you can rewind it and start it and rewind it and start it and so on and so on. All right? You guys were rock stars today. I know we ran over a little bit, but great job. I hope you guys had fun. Did you guys have fun today? Yeah, I had a good time. I like it when I'm not the goofy. <laughs> I like it when I'm not the one that's getting the self-defense boost done to me. All right, but you guys did a great job. Everybody give me a high five. High five, everybody. Awesome. You guys have a good day. Anyone want to add? Anyone add? Nope. They were doing great today. You guys have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.